Hello and welcome to Millionaire. We are back with Nasri Malik, a stand-up comedian whose trip to the hot seat is no laughing matter because Nasri is getting married in August and you need some money, don't you? Yes, I do. So what, is it money for everything from the wedding to the honeymoon to finding a place to live or what? Uh, it's all of the above. Yeah. We, uh, <laughs> We need money for uh, the honeymoon, uh, the reception. Well, you uh, we came to the right place, don't yes. you think? Yeah. This is it. This is it, because sure in 50, well, now it's down to 10 questions. You already have your first thousand dollars here, Nazareth. 10 more questions, and I'm going to give you the check for a million dollars. Capital One check. I have your name on it. So I'm ready to give it to you. This will cover a lot of stuff that you need. And you have two lifelines still sitting there to help you out. And when you get to the $25,000 mark, you're going to get the fourth lifeline. So what do you say? We're playing for a wedding and everything afterwards. Are you ready to play Millionaire? I'm ready. Okay, audience, are you ready to play Millionaire? Okay, Nazri, for $2,000, what type of companies are most likely to have the word mutual in their names? Insurance, engineering, public relations, advertising. I'll say A, insurance. Final answer. Yeah. Right. Oh, I right, Nazareth for $4,000. Located near Arlington National Cemetery, the Marine Corps War Memorial depicts six soldiers doing what? Marching on a bridge, raising a flag, carrying a stretcher, digging a foxhole. Flag carrying a stretcher, marching on a bridge, Marine Corps. War. You know what? I'm gonna have to go with uh, raising a flag. B. Final answer. You have the right memorial. It's raising a flag. It's for eight thousand dollars. On the TV series Prison Break, a convict with what given name often goes by the nickname C-Note? Alexander Hamilton, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, Andrew Jackson. Well, a C-Note is a $100 bill, and Benjamin Franklin is on a $100 bill. I don't watch Prison Break. You know what, I'm going to have to go with uh, C, Benjamin Franklin. Final? Final. Your reasoning was perfect. You got it for $8,000. Okay, this is for 16000 In math, which of the following is a perfect number? Six, oh, nine, twelve... 24. Now would be a good time for a coin toss. Oh, man. You know what? Uh, let's do the 50-50. Okay, computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. You know, I'm going to have to uh, phone a friend. I'm sorry. No, uh, don't do ever this. say you're sorry. Well, not here. Not now. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to phone a friend. Um, Sam Knowlton? Sam? Yeah. Sam knows math? Uh, I hope. Okay. <laughs> Does he know math? Okay, we're going to get Sam on the line. Hello? Hey, Sam, it's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? Hi, Meredith. I'm very good, thank you. Good. You know who I'm with? Yes, I do. Yeah, well, Nasser's here. He's going for $16,000 and he needs your help. Okay, what can I do for you, Nasri? Okay, Nasri, you have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Sam, in math, yeah. which of the following is a perfect number? Six or 12? Mm. In math, which of the following is a perfect number? Six or 12? Which of the following is a perfect number? Um. Mm. 11 seconds. <clears throat> um. I'm going to go with six. How sure are you? I'm positive. All right, thanks. <laughs> Sam.
Sam says he's positive. Yeah. Apparently I was positive five minutes ago, but didn't believe in myself. Uh, well, you know what? Let's do the uh, A6 final answer. Yeah, perfect number equal to the sum of all its factors. It is six. You have it. It's $25,000 in that fourth lifeline. Right. Prince Albert II, who assumed his position as the ruler of Monaco in 2005, has what last name? Bourbon, Habsburg, Windsor, Grimaldi. I want to go with Bourbon, I really do. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit. Final answer. I'll quit. Okay. Yeah, now, sir, can I tell you something while I get your check? I, I'm really glad that you quit. Here's the answer, Gamaldi. Oh, and Thank best of luck with your wedding. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. You made the right decision.